at it again we've got a serious topic of discussion today uh now before we hop into this i do want to say i'm not making fun of anybody uh you know because what we're going to be talking about is it's a serious topic and i'll dive more into that when we get into the video but before we do that like share comment and of course hit that subscribe button if you are new all right, and if you would help, if you would like to help me out even further with the YouTube algorithm, watch this video to the very end. All right, that helps out tremendously with the YouTube algorithm. The longer you watch it, the more that this video gets sent out to other folks. All right, so I would greatly appreciate that. And with that being said, let's dive in. Senator Feinstein. Um, you say aye. Pardon me. Aye. Yeah, uh, to say. I, I would like to support a yes vote on this. Um, it provides $823 billion. That's an increase of $26 billion for the Department of Defense. And the, it funds priorities submitted. Yeah, just say aye. Okay, just... Aye. Aye. Thank you. Democrats are calling on California Senator Dianne Feinstein to step down from public office. Bay Area Congressman Ro Khanna has become the most high profile person yet to join that chorus. He tweeted Wednesday, it's time for Senator Feinstein to resign. Feinstein, who is 89 and announced earlier this year she will not seek re-election in 2024, has been out of work since mid-March recovering from shingles. In that period, she has missed dozens of votes in the narrowly held Democratic Senate, including 25 judicial appointments. Senator Dianne Feinstein has insisted she's in good health, but an interaction with two reporters, including Ben Oreskes of the LA Times, is raising doubts. What has the response from your colleagues been like? What have the well wishes? What have you heard? What have I heard about what? About your return. How have they felt about your no, return? No, I haven't been gone. Okay. Um, you should follow me. I haven't been gone. I've been working. You've been working from home is what you're saying? No, I've been here. Um, I've been voting. Please, yeah. either know or don't know. As you heard, the senator seemed unaware she'd been absent for three months. The California Democratic member of Congress I spoke with had a, had a recent interaction with her that took place several weeks before uh, the passing of her husband, which happened in February. And it and over the course of several hours of that conversation, uh, not only did they not have the type of conversation that they were used to having with Senator Feinstein over the years, a very detailed, rigorous policy discussions, not only did they not have that, they found themselves having to introduce themselves to her after years of working together, more than a decade, and then reintroduce themselves because she was forgetting parts of the conversation that they'd already had. Uh and now I'm standing next to the president again, next to a, a collapsed bridge here. And he is here to commit to work with the, the governor. He called Joe Biden a collapsed bridge. That's, I'll just run it back. Y'all listen for yourselves, man. This, this, this stuff is just- Already had. Uh and now I'm standing next to the president again, next to a, a collapsed bridge here. And he is here to commit to work with the, the governor and the, the, the delegation to make sure that we get this fixed quick, fast as well too. This is a president that is committed to infrastructure. Yeah, and then on top of that, uh, the, the jewel uh, kind of a uh, uh, law of the inflation uh, bill that is going to make sure that there's going to be bridges all across like this, all across the America getting rebuilt. And we brought Israelis and Palestinians together at a political level and the Akwa uh, and the Paul uh, Shram. And, and uh, as I uh, affirmed the Prime Minister. A partisan cooperation and a string of uh, Anything else you want to say? Or should we just go back to your office? Mm -hmm. Do you want to say anything else to the press? 
How sad is that? And not the fact that they're getting old, right? And I've said this before. Getting old is a beautiful thing. Not everybody gets that opportunity. I personally know some folks who will never get to see the ripe old age of, of 80, let alone 90. Because they're gone already. They're already in the dirt. Already in a pine box, right? So getting old is a beautiful thing. It's something that... Um, I think we all want to want to get to. But when you see stuff like this, man, it's 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 just extremely sad. It's sad, right? For a multitude of reasons. First off, for these folks themselves. I mean, it literally looked like Mitch just had a stroke on live TV. Okay, Mitch. What is this? Now, I've made no secret. I'm not I'm not a fan of Mitch McConnell, right? I've made no secret about it. Zero secret about it. I don't like Mitch McConnell, the politician. Don't like him. I think he's a rhino. Get him out of there, coach. Put somebody else in the game, right? But Mitch McConnell, the person, I feel bad for him. I really do. I mean, <laughs> this stuff is just out of hand. And then if you want to go on to Feinstein, she has no clue what's going on. She's reading off of a prepared statement to a question that required an I. Wow. She's just sitting there reading. And, and, and I don't necessarily even blame these folks individually. I blame the people around him. In Mitch McConnell's case, the rhinos around him. You know, uh, and, and, and obviously Mitch McConnell's got some power still because he's able to generate a lot of people like to say, uh, you know, money isn't everything. BS. It really is everything. We see it all the time. Look at Mitch McConnell. The only reason why he's in that position is because he's able to generate them dollars and cents. We've watched it. And I'm new to politics and I've watched it. Because I'm sitting here wondering like, yo, why? Why are they just? And then I started digging even further. Oh, Mitch is the money. Mitch is the money. That's why. That's why they're they're agreeing with him when obviously this this guy's lost it. But that's why. Um, and then you see Democrats still trying to grasp onto power. They still have uh, uh um, what's his name? The 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 the, the tall guy from Pennsylvania. Um. Crap, we just watched his clip. I now, now I'm not, can't even think of his name. Goodness gracious. Uh, Fetterman, Fetterman, Fetterman. I, I had whoa, <laughs> the name that was popping up in my head wasn't even close to that, which I knew it was wrong, which is why I didn't say it. I was like, I know that's the wrong name, that's not the right name, but it wasn't even close to Fetterman. But wheeling Fetterman out there to, to do all of this stuff, I'm you've got to be kidding me. You have got, he literally called Joe Biden. Uh, a collapsed bridge here. And he is I'm standing next to the president again, next to a, a collapsed bridge here. He literally called him a collapsed bridge. You, you, you gotta be joking. You have got to be kidding. Feinstein doesn't even know she's been MIA. Joe's falling asleep in interviews. You know. Yes. And uh, as I uh, affirmed the Prime Minister. I, I mean, my goodness, guys. My goodness. Getting old is a beautiful thing. But th this, is, this is elderly abuse. And I'm not even joking right now. I'm being serious. This is abuse. Wheeling these people out there to do, you know, the, the establishment's bidding. This is abuse. In my estimation... Mitch McConnell, for all for all I'm concerned, for all I know, had a stroke. I mean, the guy was talking, and then all of a sudden, just froze, just froze. Now, I'm I'm no medical professional, but that kind of looked like a stroke to me. But once again, I'm no medical professional. See, if we if we have any medical professionals, y'all can let me know in the comment section. All right. We need term limits. Term limits. Term limits. 
And I, I, I think those term limits should expand to a lot of different places in our government. To a lot of different places that they don't, uh, that, that people would normally think of as term limits. Not just senators and Congress. It needs to go beyond that as well. In my humble opinion. Because this stuff is getting out of control. Absolutely out of control. But what do y'all think about this? Let me know in the comment section below. How are you guys feeling about all of this? Do you think we should have term limits for Congress and, you know, Senate, right? Uh, do you think it should be expanded to other parts of the government as well? Um, y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. Peace and love. I'm out.